We all know it's not a good idea to storm out of the house and slam the door. Without giving any return time, it's not good. And yet, sometimes we do that. We make that mistake. We get flooded, we go into the back part of our brain, and we react. In this short video, I'm gonna share with you why it's a really bad idea to slam doors and leave during a fight with no return time. And I'm gonna show you a couple of examples that you could do instead. First, why do we slam doors? Why do we do this to other people, to our partners and our family members and the people we care about most? Why do we leave without return time? Well, because we're triggered and we're activated and we're just in the back part of our brain, in the more survival, we've left the frontal lobe, we're in the more survival mechanism of the brain, the amygdala. Well, we just wanna get away. We think that by getting away, it's gonna actually help the situation, it's gonna help us. We're actually not thinking about the other person. When we leave a fight and we just disappear, this can be incredibly threatening to the other person, particularly if they have more of an anxious attachment style. It can send them into a rage, a panic, and they can really freak out. And this is where domestic violence actually happens. Two people are in a fight, one person threatens to leave, and the other person blocks the doorway, grabs their arm, etc. And this is when the cops get called and violence starts to happen. Not you, of course, but a lot of people get really intense and really aggressive when they're triggered. And the trigger we're really specifically talking about here is someone leaving and leaving abruptly and leaving quickly. This can trigger a sense of abandonment, rejection, and just deep terror in another person. Now, you might ask, well, why are they freaking out? Well, what's the big deal here? Well, if we got to know them and we got to know their family environment that they grew up in, we would see that that type of thing happened once or many times and it imprinted in the nervous system a deep panic. For example, some people with an anxious attachment style or just anxiety in general of someone departing quickly can stem from a two-year-old losing their father and never coming back because of a car accident, a job transfer, an affair. It could be the same with any parent where the child perceives that the parent is not coming back. That is incredibly scary. And this is where you hear people talk about, I have an abandonment fear, or I have abandonment wounds, or I'm afraid you're gonna, going to abandon me. And we have to be alert here and sharp and make sure that we're treating our person, the person we're partnered with or a family member in a good caring way, even if we're pissed, angry, and wanna leave. So there's a couple things we can do to be more considerate when we leave the room, leave the house, leave the car, leave the office building, we can just be more considerate. And we can set up an agreement ahead of time, for example, and I'll cover that in a moment. But let's watch just a couple of examples of, first I'll just share what not to do, and then I'm gonna share what you can do instead. All right, when you are really triggered in a fight, what you don't wanna do is what you saw at the beginning of the video. Storming out and slamming the door and leaving with no words, no return time, no agreement, etc. Don't do that. So how do we set up an agreement? How do we together as a couple or as business partners or as a family, how do we set this stuff up so that it just doesn't happen? We can avoid it. We've gotta take command of the mammal and the scared animal inside of us. I write about this in my book, Getting to Zero. Go check it out. How do we take command of this? Well, it can really help if you set up an agreement ahead of time. And the agreements are like, hey, when I'm really activated, I won't slam doors and leave with no return time. Instead, I will always return. I will always come back so that we can work it out. And I won't leave longer than six hours or an hour or a day. Hey, wait, we had an agreement. I, I, I gotta go because I need to take a break, all right? I know we had an agreement. The agreement's like, as long as I return. I gotta, I need space right now. I'm coming back tonight. <sighs> I'm just pissed, okay? I need a break. I need at least like 30 minutes and I'll be back. <sighs> I'm just like flooded or something. I, I need a break. I'll be back. Let's talk tonight because that's, I just can't, I gotta, I gotta have space. Everybody's nervous system is gonna tolerate something a little different here. So the two of you have to get very tuned in to what works for me 
and what works for you, okay? We can't have an agreement that works for me, but not you. That's not an agreement, that's not fair. We have to sit here and collaborate and find out, okay, if I'm more of the avoidant person and I, I like to leave, what would push me where I still get to take space, but I don't get to just disappear? Yeah, actually that's bad for you when I disappear and it's bad for us. So why would I do that? Okay, cool. Let me come in a little bit and I want space, so you're gonna let me take space, but I'll only take an hour. Or if it's during the day, I'll take 30 minutes. If it's in the evening, I get to take the night and come back in the morning or whatever. The two of you have to collaborate and figure out what the agreement is going to be. Things to consider are return time. Are we allowed to text during that time and communicate? Or is it like a no contact for as long as I'm taking space? And then there's gotta be a, I always 100% of the time will come back. You can't just leave it open-ended. It's too scary for the other person. It's just not cool and it's bad for your relationship. So don't do that, okay? All right, hopefully this video has been helpful and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this with a friend, drop your comments or questions below this video, and if there's any challenges here, and then I can record another video. Okay, thanks again.